Hello, hello everyone. I'm back with a video. Don't kill me because I know it's been a long time. I haven't uploaded since 2021. I really enjoyed that extraction, y'all. I remember when I did it. That was a good one. But y'all, I know I haven't posted in a while because I've been very busy with my business. But I'm back. I've been seeing a lot of comments like, where are you? It's 2021. Why haven't you been posting and all that? Y'all, YouTube pays, but um, when you post certain type of videos, they limit the ads in your videos. So, you don't get paid as much. I mean, so it's time consuming for me to record these videos while I'm working do the voiceovers, edit them and crop them out. It's time consuming. So I might not make as many videos as I would like to because of how busy I am. But hopefully, I don't know if it changes with subscribers. I think I'm at about 70K. I don't know if it changes when you get to 100 or so. Or if there's other ways I can make money from YouTube besides just being monetized. But I'm looking into it because I want to do the videos. I like it. I do extractions anyway, even though it do slow me up to record. I just wish, you know, it was a little bit more of a reward behind it. More pay. I don't know if you can do... Like badges. I know they have badges and stuff on Instagram for if you go live and go live. I know your supporters can pay um for badges and you get paid like that on Instagram and I think maybe Facebook. But I'm trying to think of another way that I can maybe, you know, make money for my content because millions of people are watching it. And I really think it's kind of, you know, scammy for YouTube to say, Oh, you post videos where clients bleed or you post skin it's not suitable for all audiences so we're not going to pay you as much but the views are still there so if y'all know like a way around it or a way that I can make more money from these videos to motivate me more to post more let me know I was thinking about maybe putting my cash app in the description and like let everybody send a dollar for the videos. I don't know y'all. I'm just trying to think of a way where I can still make my videos and not just waste a lot of time for Instagram to play with my I mean for YouTube to you know not send me enough. Just let me know y'all. On the bright side, there is a company that reached out to me and, you know, they want to send me their product and they want me to do a sponsored video and just like review their product and demonstrate a couple of wax services. So that's a plus. I mean, they found me from YouTube, so that's the only way that they were able to reach out to me. So there's other ways like that that I am benefiting from making these videos. I guess it gives me um, exposure as far as my business and maybe helping me build even more clientele. So that is a bonus, you know? <laughs> I 
Okay, no lie. When I saw this, I was not about to record. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. It might gush out. So I think this might be a good one to get on the camera. And it did exactly what I thought it would do. <laughs> but do y'all think there's a hair up in there? Y'all just gonna have to keep watching to find out. If you know me, you know I do not like to squeeze nothing. <laughs> so y'all see me trying to squeeze this particular one. And I was not really feeling it. But I was like, I have to try to, you know, help push some of that pus and blood out. And help get that infection out of there. Okay, so well, now we're about to find out whether or not there's a hair in there. And I personally thought there was. A lot of times when I see a bump this inflamed and big, I say, oh my, this has to be an infected, ingrown hair. So I dig lightly at the surface to see if anything loops out with my little loopy tool and what do you think came out it's a hair y'all look at the hair curled up and out it came now, I could have just popped that and assumed, assumed that, you know, it was just a little puss and blood up in there. But no, I have to dig at the surface to see if anything else is up in there. I thought it could have been more, but, you know, it was bleeding a little bit. So I was like, I'm gonna just leave it alone. If there's more, it will eventually come to the surface and I can get it out. I do not like to dig deep. Well, I don't dig deep in my client's skin like if it's not ready to come out i'm not extracting it baby we're going to just wait to your next appointment I don't know about y'all, but these are my faves. Like the ones that you could just dig in and they pop right out. They have a little black head on the end and a little hair come out. And just easily, like, boop. Those are my faves. They are the best to me. <laughs> but you guys, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. You know, I still appreciate every view every subscriber every comment every like it's about 10 o'clock where i'm at and i'm about to go lay down with my husband i just want to you know give y'all a little video and i promise to post more i promise y'all While we still have a little time left, y'all can follow me on Instagram at Nude Wax and Hair Bar, the same as my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Insta, get my followers up. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope y'all enjoy. Even though this video is not very lengthy. I think y'all will be glad that I, you know, even post anything. So, yeah, have a good night. Everyone, 
stay safe out there. And let's get this money. Y'all be blessed. Not stressed. <laughs> and bye, y'all. <laughs>